I'm literally taking a little tiny Japanese electric car and driving it across the Wisconsin countryside, something no sane person should ever be doing. And my car was not charging, because already I'm thinking I broke it somehow. A power fault and charging fault, nothing, no power. And a little tiny turtle icon has just appeared on my dashboard. Hey everybody, it's Ben here and I am on my way to the energy fair. I'm not even awake yet. It's six in the morning because I'm taking my little electric car, which is really not designed especially for road trips, uh, up to the energy fair. Unfortunately, it's more than double the range of this particular car. Now I could hop in a Chevy Bolt if I happen to own one of those and strive, uh, drive straight there. Um, the other thing is if I wanted to head towards Chicago, all sorts of uh, uh, quick chargers for electric cars. Heading up this direction, there are none. So I'll have to use level two charging to get up there. And that's why I'm leaving so early and I'm making a day of it. Unfortunately, this is a wide angle lens, but there's a ton of wind turbines right along this route. It's kind of cool just seeing those. I just made my first stop for charging. Uh, this is at a hotel right off the interstate. And here we've got two Clipper Creek chargers and a pair of Tesla chargers as well, or uh, EVSEs to actually use the proper term. Uh, for those Clipper Creek, uh, those are the higher powered ones. Those are good for 32 amps. Although my car has a pretty small built-in charger, normally I only use a 16 amp uh, charge connection anyway. So that extra power, unfortunately, isn't doing me any good and I'm gonna be here for a while. Fortunately, it's at a hotel, which means their lobby has bathrooms, air conditioning, and Wi-Fi. Okay, so here's a weird thing. I was charging up at this hotel, and I checked my dashboard, and my car was not charging. Uh, and strangely enough, on this Clipper Creek unit here, uh, power fault and charging fault lights both went on. I've never seen that before. I've never ever have anything go wrong with a Clipper Creek unit. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like that, but I don't know how long my car wasn't charging for. Fortunately, there is another Clipper Creek unit uh, right next to it, so I just moved my car over, parked and started charging again, but still maybe a little bit of a delay. I am getting back on the road. I did a complete charge, which takes four hours in this car. Um, and our next stop is going to be a Nissan dealership. They've got a pair of electric car chargers and according to their website, they also have a 2018 Nissan Leaf on the lot. So I'm hoping I can uh, roll on in, plug in and take that out for a test drive. So I am northbound right now and I'm on a frontage road, which besides being bumpy, um, there's like no traffic on it. So I can uh, drive just a little bit slower and actually drop how much energy I'm using quite a bit compared to uh, riding on the, the freeway. The interstate is right there. <laughs> it's literally right on the other side of this fence. And just by being on the frontage road instead of the main road, um, I'm able to drive much more eco-friendly. Uh, kind of nice. The other thing that's interesting too, uh, just all the places you get to see uh, when you're on side roads, frontage roads, back roads, instead of the interstate. Uh, so just up ahead in a few minutes, I should hit that Nissan dealership, uh, be able to charge, and check out a 2018 Leaf. So I'm coming up on a whole campus of uh, car dealerships. All these Nissans kind of look the same now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find the new Leaf. Kind of looks like everything else. Here we go. Charger's right here on the back of the building. I am at Bergstrom Nissan, and they do indeed have a 2018 Nissan Leaf here. Ha <laughs> uh, The sales guy was kind of busy with somebody else, so uh, he just gave me the keys to the car. So let's go play with it. In half a mile, prepare to park your car near Hartman Creek Road. You will need to walk to your destination from there. My battery pack says zero miles to go, and a little tiny turtle icon has just appeared on my dashboard. And I am just rolling into Hartman Creek State Park. 
Um, I've had really good luck before with uh, state parks, uh, with the campgrounds there for the RV connections for electricity, um, using those as a place to charge up. State parks are always a nice place to be, but I'm pretty much coasting into the campground. <laughs> Well, today is turning into quite the adventure. Um, I'm at a state park now and I found an electric campsite. Uh, this is actually the second electric campsite I'm at. Uh, I pulled up into the first one and saw that they had a NEMA 1450 50 amp 240 volt power, uh, which is fantastic, except that the level two EVSC that I have with me is a 30 amp, not a 50 amp, uh, meaning I just plain couldn't plug it in. But uh, the only difference is actually the neutral pin, which is not used at all. And I always kind of said to myself, eh, if I ever need an adapter, you know what? I'm just going to pull that uh, neutral pin off, uh, which is this. And I had a pliers and I grabbed it and I wiggled it until it snapped right off. Um, I've actually opened up this EVSE. The neutral wire literally goes nowhere. It's capped off inside. Um, but when I plugged it in, nothing, no power. Um, flip the circuit breaker off, back on, nothing. So I came over here to the second parking space, uh, plugged in the EVSC, because already I'm thinking I broke it somehow, uh, but maybe it was the circuit breaker. So I plugged it into this box over here, got nothing, turned the circuit breaker off, then back on, and even worse than not getting anything, I got the red exclamation point warning light. No! So I fiddled with the breaker a little bit more, actually ended up wiggling it, getting a solid connection, and then I got charging. So right now, cow car is charging up. I'm actually only 20 miles from my destination, but um, battery pack totally empty. And again, this is the worst case scenario. I'm literally taking a little tiny Japanese electric car and driving it across the Wisconsin countryside, something no sane person should ever be doing. Sure, you got a Chevy uh, Volt or Bolt or a Tesla Model 3 or something with a huge battery pack, great, go do it, hop right in. Uh, the other thing kind of funny was actually just at my last stop, I stopped at a, a Nissan dealership. I took a look at a Leaf and their new slightly fancier EVSC that comes with the car actually runs uh, 120 or 240 volts. And the big connector is a NEMA 1450, which would work absolutely fantastic at a campground. So if I had that brand new Nissan Leaf, I literally could have driven straight from my house to the energy fair. And if I had to stop and charge somewhere, I could have pulled right into a state park campground, plug that stock charger right in. So uh, you know what? Today is an adventure. So I'm gonna charge up here for a while and then I'm gonna make it the rest of the way to the energy fair. So according to the gasometer, I have enough juice to get to the energy fair. So I'm going to unplug and take off. And the interesting part about this, of course, is the fact that I actually hacked my portable EVSC because it's designed for one of these NEMA 1450 connectors. And this was a NEMA 1430, but uh, yanking that neutral pin makes it work for either one. Uh, so the last thing to do before heading out of the state park is I usually just stop in at the ranger station, put a couple of dollars in the uh, uh, Friends of the Park Fund. Figure I used probably a dollar's worth of electricity, so bare minimum I want to cover that. So uh, just put a couple of bucks in the box and we're now on our final leg to get to the energy fair. So it's official, I made it to the energy fair. The sun's still shining, got the car plugged in. And we got this huge uh, solar carport that's just been installed along with uh, some Clipper Creek charging stations, which I helped install last year right before the energy fair. So I'm all psyched up. I'm gonna start unloading, uh, find some dinner and kick off this great weekend at the energy fair.